Okay, guys. I opened up Animate. There's a couple of ways to start off a new uh, a new document. Okay. Uh, one way is to hit action, action script right here. Click on it, and it creates it for you. Okay. And then you've got to go ahead and go in, and you've got to change it right here. So it's 1920 by 1080. Okay. And again, if you click here, you can change your stage to whatever color you want. I normally leave it white. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to get rid of this. All right. The other way, no, I don't want to save it. The other way to do it is you come over here, you go to file, go to new. Okay. You get the, the same features. Okay. Action script 3.0. Make sure you do that. Okay. So right here, 1920 by 1080. And then again, you can change your stage to whatever color you want right here. I'm going to leave it white, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. All right. So now if I scroll out, what we've got is it's, it's like all over the place. So you want to make it fit, okay? Fit in window. Okay, there it is. But it doesn't give me enough room. See how it clips it right here? So what I normally do is I back it off a bit, 90. There we go. So now I've got, okay, enough space around it so I can see it. Next thing you want to do is go up to the main menu, okay? Go to view, rulers. Now the reason you want your rulers, and you have one on the side too, the reason you want them is what you're going to do is you're going to grab some guides so that you can outline your stage and outline all four sides, okay? So let's do that quickly. All right, so let's go here. here okay there's my stage so now let's go ahead and talk about layers because you guys are going to be working with layers right down here okay so now the first layer is going to be your first photo okay photo one and then you want to add another layer so here you go right here so photo two yes you're going to be working with more than one photo photo three okay and now you want to add your words. What I would do is put whatever word it is that you're going to put in there as your layer name, okay? And I'm only going to add three, but I'm only going to show you probably one word, okay? You guys will get the, the message. Jeez, also, that means humor in Spanish, guys, okay? So now let's say I add another layer. I don't want it. Well, just grab the trash can right there. Hit delete. Okay, and it's gone. All right, there we go. So we're good to go. All right, guys. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and bring in some images, okay? So you go to the main menu up on top, go to File, Import, and you import to the library, guys, okay? Don't import to the stage, import to the library, okay? So let's go over here, all right? Let's go ahead and take a look at a few images right here. All right, so there's the bear that I, I've been using, okay? And there's me and my wife in Mexico, and there's me bandaged up. You know what? I want to use all three of those images, okay? And I actually probably gonna use more than that, okay? Let's do that, let's do this, uh, that, and this one, okay? Let's hit open, okay? Because I'm gonna save this project. All right, so let's go there. All right, so now if you go over to the library, and it's over on the right-hand side, guys, your library's right here, your property's right here. And if you don't have them open, scroll the window, okay? And you guys can see what should be open right here, okay? You guys should be able to see all this right off the bat, okay? There you go, okay? And your library should always be open, okay? So I wouldn't worry about that too much, okay? There you go, just in case you can't find it, okay? So now, you go over to your library. Come on, there we go. All right, so let me show you what's in there, all right? So there's the bear hug right there. There's me and the pyramids, okay? And then bandaged, okay? And I've got a few others in there, okay? That I'm probably gonna use. Okay, so let's start off with the first one. If you come down here, and you go right to that first frame, right at the bottom, okay, for your first photo, okay, right there. You've got a, you've got blank frames right here, guys, blank keyframes. You can tell because they're not filled in, okay. So we're gonna drag a photo onto the stage and put it right here in this frame. What you want to do is lock all your layers except the one you're working in. Get used to doing that, guys, okay. So come over here, and let's use the bear hug one, okay. So I'm gonna click on and drag right on the stage. There we go, see? It's already off the stage, so I know where my stage ends, right there. If I hit Command minus or Control minus, I can minimize the size or I can just come down here and make it smaller, okay? 
I can just go 50%, there we go. So now if I select it, I can't resize it yet unless I come over here and let me fix my tools so they're a little bit better for me, okay? I kind of like them. There we go, double stack like this. So now selection tool, I want to go right under it for the free transform tool, guys, okay? It's right underneath, right there. Click on it, all right? So now we come over. Now I'm going to make it smaller. So, oh, you know, that's what happens when you don't keep things in proportion. Your reference point is right in the middle, guys, okay? It's going to go from the outside in to, to the inside, okay? So, because there's my reference point, okay? So I'm going to hold my shift key, click, hold, and drag, and make it smaller, okay? Like so, and then I'll move it over. I don't know, right about there, okay? Let's go ahead and do that right there. And I can align it right here if I want, okay? Be sure to click on your align to stage right here, guys. Align to stage, I want it in the middle and in the middle, okay? So now it's exactly in the middle, okay? So that's a good place to start, all right? So I like it there. Now, what I'm gonna do is, now you'll notice that if you look down here at the bottom, you'll notice that there's content in there now, okay? So now I wanna go ahead and hit, have the same, the same image on frame 15, okay? So if I click on it, if I hit the function key F6, again, it's a function key, they're up the top. If I hit F6, I've duplicated that frame right there, okay? Well, I'm gonna undo it. I can also click on that frame if I right-hand click on a PC, or if I control click on a Mac, I can insert the keyframe, okay? There it is right there. All right, I'm gonna undo, okay? I'm gonna click on frame 15. This time what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go up the insert, okay? Up on the main menu, go to insert, timeline, okay? And I'm gonna go with keyframe, okay? So now it's duplicated. So there we go, we've got the same image two times. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make this move. I don't want this one there. I want it at the end, yes, there. But the very first one, I actually want it off the stage. So I'm gonna bring it out here, okay? Right about there. <laughs> okay, so now if I come over here, again, there's several different ways to do it. If I go ahead and, what is that? Uh, control click or right hand click, I can go ahead and create a classic tween, okay? And now, here's what it does, guys, is it tells me that right now what I have selected is the photo, but I haven't made it a symbol, okay? In order for it to do the tween, and a tween is just an in-between, what it does is it makes it move, okay? If I, It fills in those frames for me, okay? If I want there to be content in between those frames, I need to make it a symbol, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, all right? So now, if I take a look at it from over here and I hit return, there we go, okay? Let me undo that, okay? Let me undo that tween so you guys can see what happens if I don't have the tween there. If I hit return, it just pops in there, okay? I don't want that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go here. I can also go to insert, classic tween, okay? So there's a couple ways to do it. Insert, classic tween. Now, yes, it's a motion, but the classic tween does a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a classic tween, okay? There we go. All right, and again, it's telling me, hey, you haven't made it a symbol. Do you want me to do it? Yes, I do, so I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so it's gonna take care of it for me, okay? And again, if you hit return, it's nice and smooth in there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go to about frame 10. We're gonna bring in another image. But let's see, let's go ahead and grab uh, the bandage. No, nope. let's go ahead and grab the pyramids. Click, hold, and drag. Oop, it won't let me. Oh, you know what? It won't let me because I locked it, see that? So I'm gonna lock the bottom one, unlock that one, right there in that frame. If I drag an image, it's still not gonna let me, okay? See, it's not letting me because I don't have a keyframe there for it to work with. So I gotta go to insert, Okay, timeline, and this time I want a keyframe, a keyframe, same thing. Okay, there we go. So now if I click, hold, and drag, it lets me put it in there. Look at that, guys, it's already huge. Command minus, okay, make it smaller. Again, hold your shift key, 
for go and drag, make it smaller. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring this up, fit window. Okay, and again, I'm gonna back it off a little bit. You can even type in 90 up there every time, okay? So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna line it up right where that image is. Where is it? Right there, okay? I wanna make it smaller, but I wanna go from here this way. I don't want it going, if I make it smaller here, it's gonna do that number, okay? I want it to be locked right into that corner. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put my reference point right in the corner. Now if I hold this, hold the shift key, click hold and drag, and again, I can bring it up, but I'm gonna line it up with the bottom, okay? There we go, right there. That's where I want it. Now if I want it right in the middle, Again, you go to our, your align panel right there. Click on it, okay? It's aligned to stage, so I want there and there. So now it's in the middle, okay? Look what it does, is it moves it over, okay? Because it puts it right in the middle. Now, that'll be okay because what's gonna happen is this is gonna move like right in the middle, like so, okay? So now I come over, I don't know, let's do like uh, that many frames. Again, what I want to do is do the F6, okay, and I need to put a tween in there, so I'm going to com command click, right hand click, classic tween, okay. Yes, it's telling me to do the, the symbol thing, okay. This time I'm going to cancel, and I'm going to undo the tween, okay. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click right over here. I'm going to click on it, go to my selection tool, click on it, okay. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify. I'm going to convert the symbol. But this time, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make it a movie clip, there we go. And I'm gonna name it FS, MS, that's me and my wife's initials, and I'm gonna put Mexico. Oops, sorry. Okay, and I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna put the reference point, uh, yeah, I'll leave it on the side, that's fine, okay. Actually, you know what, move it in the middle. There we go, hit okay. All right, so now, it's a movie clip. So now if I go in, and I go, I don't know, frame 25, I have six that, okay? If I go ahead and insert, okay, uh, a classic tween, it does it, okay? It doesn't give me, hey, you need to convert it, okay? So let's see what we've got so far. Okay, so that just pops in. So let's go to the end, let's go ahead and select. I'm selecting this image right here, guys. Go to properties, okay? What I wanna do is, Go to color effect, okay? Come over here, go to alpha. I'm gonna make it zero, okay? So now, it's not there. So if I come over here and hit enter, see the other one disappears and this one kind of flickers into place, okay? So yeah, you can do the other photos. I'm gonna go ahead and move on, guys, because the next thing I'm gonna show you is the text. So click on that frame, you unlock that, you lock the other one, go up to your text tool, just right up here, text tool, okay? So now, you have a couple of options with the text. Static text means you start here and it just goes forever in one line. Dynamic text is you drag out a box and within that box, the text will wrap itself, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do dynamic text, okay? And you can select the font right here, okay? You can make it whatever you want. Let's try that one there, let's see what that looks like. You can select the color right here also, so whatever color you want, you can go there. All right, so let's do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna type in my name. You know what? I need to make it big. So if I come over here to my panel, there's my point size. I'm gonna make it as big as I can make it, okay? 96, that's huge, right? No, it's not, not huge at all. Ooh, and I don't like that font at all. <laughs> I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it, guys. That's an ugly font. Uh, so boy, I kind of like that one. Okay, we'll go with that one. But I want to make it huge. So let me see. Let me make it 320 points. Hit enter. There we go. All right. And it's red. No, I don't want it red. So I'm going to click here. And I can go ahead and sample a color right over here, guys. Okay? If I want to make it a color, okay, I can go ahead and sample a color right off the picture. Right off of here. Okay? So click on the red. Okay, come over here. And let's make it, uh, let's make it that purple color right there. There we go. See, it's purple. Okay. So now I've got the text ready to go. Now, guys, remember I showed you guys how to make this a symbol. I'm going to make it a movie symbol. Okay. 
You can also come over here and see, it won't let you do it here, but what you do is go to modify, convert the symbol, okay? I'm just gonna call it Cerner, okay? And I'm gonna make it a movie clip, I'm gonna hit okay. The reason I wanna do that is because now I got filters I can add. I wanna add a drop shadow, there we go. So I have the drop shadow right at the beginning. All right, so now right about here, okay, there I am right there. So yeah, let's do that. So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a tween in right at the beginning. There we go. So now I come over here and I F6 it. All right, there it is right there. Um, I don't want it to be there right off the bat. So in my first frame, okay, let me make this smaller so you guys can see it. First frame, get my selection tool, click on and drag the name up, okay? So now if I hit return, Okay, it just kind of disappears because the name goes away, right? So right about here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F6 because I want the name to stay there. So let's see what happens. It disappears, I want the name to stay there, F6. Okay, I'm duplicating that frame, hit enter. Okay, there we go. But you know what? I don't know that I like where it is right there at the end, okay? I want it to move over to the right. So for that frame, I'm gonna hold my shift key. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over to the right, okay? Make it touch right on the corner, because it's touching right on the side there. So I'm gonna make it touch just about there, like so, okay? It's intentional, guys. Okay, hit return. Okay, there we go. So now if I see the movie, if I hit command return, okay? Or control return, okay? You guys are gonna see the movie but it's gonna drive you nuts because it's just gonna keep looping so I'm gonna show you guys how to stop that okay so come over here I got rid of that one so now I go to my last frame I click on it now what you got to do is go up to window okay go up to window click on it you're looking for this right here code snippets click on it okay what you get is this right here okay you're gonna get this so you want to click down on actions action script you want to do timeline navigation right here. That's what you want. You want it to stop at that frame because I select the last frame. Double click. Okay. Now what you get is this window here. It tells you that at frame 25, it's going to stop. Okay. So now let's take actions. Let's dock it right down here. Okay. So now it's with my timeline right over here. It tells me all the actions that are there. I want to take code snippets. I'm going to dock it right here. There we go. I can take it and dock it down here if I want, but if you really take a look at it, guys, right here, you're gonna have code snippets, okay? If you look right here closely, you have code snippets right there. So I've got it in two places, okay? But I'm gonna leave it alone right now, okay? So now, if I take what I have and I hit Command Return or Control Return, okay? There's the movie. All right, guys. So I showed you guys how to create something pretty fast, okay? I showed you how to how to create the actual file, okay? The dimensions that you need to have it at, 1920 by 1080. I showed you guys how to work with the layers, right? I showed you the selection tool, which is right at the top, right here, okay? I showed you the transform tool, which is right there. I showed you the text tool, which is the T, okay? So we've gotten off on a, on a start here for how to use animate, okay, guys? What I want you to do is I want you to use your seven to 10 words, okay? So if you selected seven, use seven. If you selected 10, use all 10, okay? Come in and use not one, not two, anywhere from three to five photos, because you can overdo it, okay? So three to five photos will work. Animate for me, okay? Make it move, make it do this, okay? And this is just a quick way to do it. I don't know that this is gonna be the final product that I have. Maybe I'll create some more stuff for you, but I'll show you guys a few more things to do, okay? So let's leave it off at that. Don't forget your stop at the end, okay?